Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Firefox 3 download day has come and gone. It broke records and servers. Millions of people grabbed Firefox 3 uh, in its initial hours of being released to the internet. And uh, I was a part of download day happily. Firefox 3 uh, took a little getting used to. There were a few things that I liked about it and quite a few things I didn't like about it. Uh, on Mac OS X, I loved the interface update. Uh, but there was one thing that I didn't think was very awesome. And that would be something called the awesome bar. Good news is, is that I got a, a few emails uh, from community members, including one email from Maverick878, who made a recommendation for me if I didn't like the awesome bar and I wanted to go back to the way Firefox 2 had the uh, addresses pop up in the list. You know what I'm talking about? In Firefox 3, you type in an address and suddenly it'll have this long list of URLs underneath the address bar. That to me looks kind of clunky. It, I never liked it. It just seems completely unfinished to me. So uh, he recommended an add-in called Old Bar, which can be grabbed, of course, from add-ins on uh, mozilla.org. Uh, and uh, you know you don't have to, I, I'll, I'll just point you there, search for Old Bar, you'll be able to find it. There are a few other tweaks as well. I know Lifehacker had made a post today uh, about a couple of other add-ins, including Old Bar, and I'll be sure to link to that in the show notes to uh, this video in uh, the corresponding blog post on chris.perillo.com. Uh, well, Maverick878 also made some recommendations that I remember hearing about a long time ago, but you know, completely dismissed because I don't use Firefox every day. I still use Safari as my default web browser, and I like it. In fact, um, I showed Ponzi Safari on Windows. They Apple just released a uh, version 3.1.2, which allegedly fixes the carpet bombing, which seemed to be more of annoyance, but it was tied into a security fix. She likes Safari on Windows, and I've given her Firefox, Safari, Internet Explorer, Maxton, and I'm, I'm saying, hey, Ponzi, what do you like more? And she tells me, uh, even after these speed tweaks that I'm going to share with you uh, about Firefox here, she thinks and she perceives that Safari is faster, even on Windows, than any other web browser she's used. And I told her that, and she said, yeah, well, I didn't believe it, but yes, websites do pull up quicker in Safari. They feel that way on Mac OS X, and they feel that way most certainly on Windows. So I'm again going to make the recommendation to use Safari on Windows. It's really, really fast. And version 4.0, uh, which they've got on a developer build, alleges to be even faster than current builds of Safari, which are fast to begin with. So we're all about making our web browsing experience faster, right? We all want a faster internet, unless, of course, you're just crazy. Well, Firefox has got a uh, configuration panel that is not quite accessible from the UI directly, but this has been built into the browser pretty much from day one, at least as far as back as I can remember. If you go to the address bar and you type in about colon config, no spaces, about colon config, and that colon being, you know, the dot, dot, the dot, dot, you know, not an ellipsis, dot, 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 but the colon with the one dot on top of the other dot. So about colon config. Now when you look at this page, you're going to be overwhelmed, I guarantee, because just about anything that you can configure inside of Firefox behind the scenes can be pulled up and configured from the about config page. It's where you configure Firefox. It saves your preferences. Back, You want to back it up, and I'm going to give you a, a link to a website that'll explain a little bit more about what we're about to dive into. So once you pull up this config page, don't touch anything before you back up, and don't touch anything if you aren't given a directive to do this, especially from other members of the community, or you know you don't want to mess with Firefox the way it is. However, these tweaks have been tried and somewhat true, uh, and they are going to take some experimentation. Your mileage may certainly vary. Now, I have a faster internet connection, so I'm able to kind of take some extreme values here. Uh, you, if, if, this, uh, if a value that I mentioned is not listed in about config, you can right click anywhere, choose new, and then a string, an integer, or a boolean, and boolean basically allowing you to toggle between true and false, integer being a number, and a string, of course, being anything, a number, a word, or whatever. So the first thing that uh, Maverick878 recommends is looking for network.http.pipelining and setting that to true. 
There's no spaces in there, and you can see right here, you've got a filter line in the About Config page. You can start typing in network.http, and it'll winnow down all the options just to those, uh, I guess, configuration points that have that string in it. Uh, so set that to true. If you don't, and most uh, often it, you will not have the next string, you'll need to add it as a, a Boolean. Network.http.pipelining dot first request. That's one word, first request. Set that to true. Here's another one. Network HTTP pipelining dot max requests. Now you gotta be careful with this one. Uh, you know, setting it too high may actually get uh, some web administrators really mad at you because you'll hammer their servers. You're basically upping the maximum amount of requests sent every time uh, that you're, you know, loading a website. So I set mine to eight. Network dot http dot proxy dot pipelining turn that to true now here's one that may not exist and uh, you're probably gonna need to copy and paste this out either from the link I'm going to send you or uh, directly from this blog post ng layout dot initial paint dot delay now this is a number you're going to want to mess with uh, if it's not in your config page by default you're gonna have to add this as uh, most likely an integer and it's recommended that you go between 50 and 100. You set it to that value. Uh, by default, it's, it's a little higher than that. Uh, it's essentially the amount of time per redraw or in between uh, screen redraws. And some people recommend sending it to zero. Uh, however, that may kill your CPU. Uh, so just be forewarned. Uh, it will speed up the appearance of items on a page but may actually increase the total page load time because of the amount of redraws. Uh, here's another one that uh, was uh, recommended uh, content.notify.interval and by default I believe uh, this is right around the 75,000 mark uh, and you can adjust this as well I set mine to zero and found that uh, everything seems so much faster on my broadband connection, or specifically Firefox's uh, reactivity. But if you're going to set the content.notify.interval, you'll also want to set content.switch.threshold to true and content.interrupt.parsing to true. And if those values don't exist, of course, you'd have to add them. So Maverick 878, hat tip to you. Uh, there is a website that has outlined a lot of these tweaks as, as well as a few others about config tweaks, behind the scene tweaks for Firefox. And that's at pctipsbox.com. And I'll be sure to put a direct link to his first page for uh, the secrets of about config because he did a great job and I just, or he or she, and so I might as well just point you that direction instead of just repeating everything. I'll be sure to, to link the ones that I've tweaked here for about config uh, on, on my blog at chris.perillo.com. If you have any other tweaks to pass along, you know, feel free. My email address is chris at uh, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, you know, what are your, your favorite Firefox tweaks are, especially on the about config, because dude, there's like seemingly hundreds, if not thousands of items to tweak on about config. You wouldn't want to tweak all of them, uh, but certainly it's interesting to, to get underneath and look, oh, well, I can change that, I can change that. There's some things in there that you may change that you may have to roll back to an earlier version. So be careful when you tweak, always back up. Uh, here's another little uh, Easter egg that's been discovered in Firefox 3. If you go to the, the command line, or command line, listen to me, <laughs> I'm thinking terminal now. If you go to the address bar, like you typed about colon config, well, type about colon robots. Check this out, check this out. All right, let me zoom in here. You're going to love this. It says, welcome humans. We have come to visit you in peace and with goodwill. Got a little of their bullet points. So this is only for Firefox 3.0 uh, about robots. And it's even, uh, if, if anybody gets the uh, super, 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 super geeky sci-fi reference uh, that can be found in the uh, title bar of the window, well, I'd be surprised if anybody knows. Here, actually, there's, there's a couple, three, I can think of three sci-fi reference points, but one specifically here. And we'll go to the, let me zoom in again. Can you guys see that? The title of the page, Gort, Klaatu, Barada. I, I can think of three sci-fi references, three. Now that there's one directly, but I know of two others. Do you? I'd be surprised. And if you don't, 
If you know all three, you're a geek. If you you know one of them, uh, you're I guess you're doing okay. But if you know all three, then you're right up there with me in sci-fi, right up there. Uh, and then another uh, uh, Easter egg that's been around for a while. If you do about colon Mozilla, it'll uh, print out a, a quote from the book of Mozilla. It's kind of funny. You used to be able to do that in Internet Explorer, and it would give you a blue screen if you did about colon Mozilla. So much fun. Anyway, you've got my email address, and you're also welcome to join us in the chat room. Uh, we love talking about tweaks, speed tweaks, making things faster, making things better, whether it's software, hardware, internet, doesn't matter. Uh, we've got this chat room open pretty much 24 hours a day. Uh, you know, all I mean, literally. We're here all the time. So you're welcome to join us anytime, day or night, at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.